The comfort food maven is back again, y'all. Today we're making salmon croquettes. This is one of the favorite things I used to eat growing up as a kid. My mom made these all the time. Today we're gonna make it with a little bit of a twist. I saw this idea on TikTok and I wish I could find the creator's video who showed me how to do it this particular way. The twist is we're adding parboiled diced potatoes to it. I think it does lend itself to some nice texture and some more fillingness. So if you like salmon and you like crunchy seafood, kind of like a crab cake, you're gonna enjoy this recipe. Occasionally when I film videos, I sometimes will type the instructions on the screen. I don't feel like doing all that. I'm really sorry guys, but if I remember to do so, I'm gonna populate the description box with the steps to making this. You got your canned salmon. I'm using three for this particular uh, recipe and then I'm going to take the bones out. The key to deboning, I think, is to open a can, dump it into your strainer, pull the can off straight up, kind of how I just demonstrated, and look for the middle. And you mostly will find all the spiny parts all together and then the small bones, you can kind of like fish those out, no pun intended, and pull kind of the slimy fatty pieces of the salmon out and discard. So essentially you just wanna do this for all of your salmon that you're gonna to use to do this and then also um, drain the salmon of the fluid and water that's in a can and then mince it up and chop it up real fine before we start adding all of our ingredients. And basically if you've ever made yourself a homemade hamburger, this is kind of the same thing. You're just using salmon and you're using some ingredients to bind the meat together and the vegetables such as like flour, breadcrumbs and eggs. So let's keep going. So here's a tip, if you don't have a blender or a food processor, you can add your crushed crackers into a giant Ziploc bag and then kind of pulverize them more with a rolling pin and roll it back and forth and you should get the nice texture that you need on fine ground up crackers. You also can use panko crumbs or bread crumbs. So into my bowl, I'm adding my drained minced salmon bell peppers and onions and fresh lemon juice don't worry that seed that fell in I did fish it out I'm adding my seasonings again let your ancestors guide you I let mine do it I don't always do a lot of measuring so I got salt and some pepper and some old bay seasoning going in at this stage Next up to this bowl, I'm going to add a dollop of mayonnaise and some beaten eggs. And I'm gonna follow with those ground crushed up cracker crumbs and just a couple tablespoons or so of flour. Okay, remember those parboiled potatoes I mentioned earlier, which was the hack for this? They were boiled in salted water for about five minutes and then drained and added to this mixture along with a little bit of cornmeal, which of course adds some color 
and some brightness to the dish and additional crunch, of course, and give everything a good stir and parting the shadowy kind of looks and lighting over this bowl because I cannot get it together in this kitchen. This is a new kitchen we're cooking in and I'm always blocking my lighting. I have to figure out what to do to stop doing that. And plus my tripod broke recently. It's a whole thing. Anyway, we are gonna stir it all around and then we're gonna come back and make some nice salmon patty burgers and get everything going in our pan with the oil that we're heating up. But again, here we go. Look, look, This is, here it is y'all. Make the little patties like this, real simple. Your hands are clean, of course. You know, we touch food when we cook around here. So anyway, make them patties, y'all. And then we gonna look at my other phone over there. I got it like up against cans. It's like a whole thing when you're trying to be a home YouTuber with a cooking channel. It's work. <laughs> Okay, so these were cooked up about three to four minutes each side over medium high heat and vegetable oil, enough to cover the pan, plus a little bit more. And then basically, you're ready to devour these salmon croquettes, nice and crunchy, golden, moist on the inside, just delicious. And growing up as a kid, my mother would make these for breakfast with rice and biscuits and a little bit of syrup on the side. And then you can also have these for dinner. This time I served it up with a simple salad and some garlic butter biscuits. So, bon apple to the tea. I'm Latrice Kelly. Like this video, please. And, you know, subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And I'll see y'all on the next video. Thanks for watching. And join me on this channel for more Cook With Me inspiration.